Hi, welcome to the Logging Made Easy analysis demo. Today, we'll be showing you three things. We'll show you a live demonstration of Logging Made Easy 2.0. We'll show you a brute force login attempt and show you how Logging Made Easy can be used to detect it. And we'll show you a malware sample. In our case, a ransomware attack. Okay, let's take a look at the Discover tab. So here, we can query data. In this case, let's say we want to query for Windows Event Log 4624. And we can see all the hits across our network for 4624. We can also change it so that we can look in the past week or, or in the previous hour. We can query any sort of data we want on Logimate Easy 2.0 that LME has collected up to this point. You may want to do special queries that are compound queries where you're looking for multiple things at once. We can do it like so. In this example, we're looking for a piece of malware, an executable called security update. We're also looking for a message in the data file created, and also we want that message to include the string Python 3. We can look for it like this, asterisk security update dot exe asterisk and message colon in quotes file created asterisk and message colon and an asterisks Python 3. What this query says is we're looking for our executable file and we want its message to have both file created and Python 3. The asterisks mean that we're looking for those strings and we don't care where they are inside of the message string. Ands, asterisks, ors create compound queries that we can use to get specific with our searches. Now let's take a look at dashboards. So let's go to Elastic Dashboards and take a look at the User Security Dashboard, which is one of the Logging Made Easy dashboards that LME comes packaged with. Here we can see all of the information has been curated under the theme User Security. Right now we're only looking only an hour into the past. Now let's look one day into the past. You can see a variety of information is here. Network connections, login attempts, log offs, users, hosts, pie charts, line charts, PowerShell processes, and even Windows Defender events. Now, let's look at customizing dashboards. Your organization may have unique needs, in which case you may want to customize the dashboards that Logging Made Easy comes packaged with. Customizing dashboards is simple. All you need to do is open one of our dashboards, in this case, user security, and pick out a panel that you'd like to change. In this case, let's change the panel logged on computers. Let's change it so that instead of showing logged on computers in this pie graph, we'll change it so that it shows usernames. We'll click the three dots at the top right of the panel and click edit visualization. In the case of this pie chart, we'll go under buckets and change the field to be winlog.eventdata.targetUserName, and then click Update. As you can see, the pie chart has changed to include this new information. And once we're done, we just click Save and Return. Feel free to change anything about the dashboards that we give you and customize them to whatever your organization needs. Now let's talk about Elastic Integrations. Under Management, Click Integrations. Elastic offers a wider range of integrations to meet your specific organizational needs. And we can search for them on the search bar and simply click Add Integration here at the top. 
Now let's do an example. Let's configure it so that Elastic will alert us when certain things happen on our network. To do that, let's go to Rules under Security, and in Detection Rules, we're going to enable a new rule. In our case, we're going to enable the Windows Events Cleared rule. This rule is going to send an alert every time the event viewer is cleared of its logs. The event viewer is important to Windows security. It's the host's way to log events that occur on that computer. Clearing that log is a suspicious and potentially malicious act. So if it was cleared like this, we can now see that because of our rule, we now have a new alert on our alerts page on Elastic. Now let's see how Elastic changes if we try to download a malicious file. In our case, EICAR test, which is a known test malicious file. We can download it with the following curl command. When we do, we can see that Windows Defender has noticed a threat. It labels the malicious file as a virus. And on our user security dashboard, we can see that when the file was downloaded and Windows Defender caught it as a virus, it now populates on the Windows Defender panel of the user security dashboard. Now let's take a look at the brute force attack. In the event of a brute force login attack, you'll see something like this. In the user security dashboard that LME comes packaged with, you can see in the network connections section of the dashboard all the network connections across your network. You'll notice with this graph the number of network connections stays very low in the single digits, usually one, two, maybe three a day. However, you'll notice a spike that reaches the thousands. This is an example of a brute force login attack. We can see that 2,000 72 login attempts occurred. And you can see in the red visualization here how many were failed and how very little were successful. Those successful attempts were legitimate and the red failed attempts were illegitimate, bad actor behavior. If we take a look at one of the events up close, we can see what account name they were trying to brute force attack. They were attempting to log in to the administrator account, and you can also see what IP address that they were using when they were attempting these brute force logins. We can also see that they were using a Kali machine. So, thanks to Login Made Easy, we were able to detect this brute force login attack. Now, what we did after this is we updated our network security group. We made it so that we're blocking that IP address that we were able to find thanks to Logging Made Easy's logs. Once we updated that network group to prevent them from doing that attack again, you can see the number of network connections fell all the way back down to legitimate numbers. Now let's take a look at the malware sample. In this case, we tested Logging Made Easy with a piece of ransomware. What the ransomware does is, if a person downloads and executes the ransomware executable file, it will encrypt the information on your computer and it will then prevent you from accessing that, requiring some sort of compensation, for instance, whatever the case may be. If we take a look at the logs that LME provides us, we can search our logs for security update, which is the phony name that the ransomware executable file goes by. As you can see, there's 8,000 hits. If we take a closer look, we can put all the pieces together and create a timeline of the entire attack. Step one, we can see that the security update executable file was downloaded at that time by the user rgbrow. We can also see that the malicious file was then executed and a crypto library was loaded onto the computer. Python was then loaded. A key was created to perform the encryption, 
and once the encryption was over, the key was then deleted and the ransomware attack was complete. Thanks to LME, we're able to construct the total timeline of this entire attack and prevent it in the future. That concludes the analysis demo. Thanks for watching.